I am not a financial advisor and the things I tell in the videos is not financial advice. What I'm trying to do in this video is to review crypto projects as good as I can. In this video, I will try to review Engine. So let's start. While I'm recording this video, Engine project is located at 138th place on CoinGecko and it has a market cap of $445 million. Let's go to the web page first and try to understand the project by checking the slogan. The slogan is telling us launch top tier Web3 games and everything you need to build successful Web3 games and applications. The slogan is obviously telling us Engine is a core project for Web3 games and applications. In the past, Engine has a token on Ethereum and the products which Engine had was on Ethereum. And now Engine evolved and changed so much. We will try to understand the current situation in a minute. But before that, first let's check the tokenomics and some basic information on CoinGecko. When we come to CoinGecko, it is telling us the total supply is 1.7 billion. First of all, let's check this if it is correct or not. We can check it by going to website resources on the top and block explorer relay chain. This is the main blockchain currently the engine project has. And on this page, we can see the total issues as 1.7 billion here. So this number is in here correct. And the max supply is unlimited. This is correct as well. And the yearly inflation rate is right now 4.89. And it's going to change in the future slightly according to the decisions together with the community and the team. To calculate the circulation supply for this project, we need to make too much calculations. I will not do them in this video because I did them before preparing this video. As you know, the engine project had a token on Etherscan, then they have created another coin called Affinity. And then they have decided to remove this affinity and they have decided to create their own blockchain, this blockchain, and they have decided to migrate this Epic coins and the old engine coins tokens into the new engine coin. So right now there is a migration going on. Because of this migration, calculating the circulation supply is extremely hard. We need to check the Ether scan for the past information of the past token. And we need to check the affinity in Ether scan again. Then we need to check the current situation in the new blockchain. Together, checking all of them, we can conclude a calculation. So before this video, I made a calculation for myself and I decided this circulation supply, we can consider around 1.1 and 50 million. So if I divide this number to 1.775, we can come up with a percentage of 65 as a circulation supply. So I will assume the circulation supply is 65% for this video. When we go to the graphic, we can see engine has been listed on CoinGecko around eight years. It is a quite old project and it has been listed on CoinGecko on many platforms for a very long time. Eight years of listing on CoinGecko and 65% of Circulation supply is telling us this project is a major project, not a young project anymore. And if we check the markets in the down, we can see it has been listed on many exchanges for a long time. As you can see, there are 14 pages in here, 14 pages of 10 exchanges. 
Before going to the details, let's have a quick summary. According to the tokenomics, the risk is between low and medium, and it is closer to the medium because of the token migration situation. According to the graph and the price, the risk is between low and medium. It is closer to the low, since the price is close to the all-time lows. According to the exchanges, this project nearly has a zero risks because it has been listed on many exchanges and it has been listed for a very long time. It has a close relation with the exchanges. Let's continue with GitHub. When we go to the GitHub, we can see they have 35 shares and around 30 of them exactly related with the project and 8 of them are being updated regularly. So according to the GitHub situation, the project is getting a check mark. Let's go to the Tivitor. In Tivitor, as you can see, they have over 500k followers and the posts are coming regularly. So according to the Tivitor situation, the project is getting a check mark as well. Now let's go to the web page and try to understand what this project is all about, a bit detailed. Actually, this project has a very complex background. I will try to describe it as simple as I can. I will put here Ethereum Polkadot Cosmos, and we have other blockchains in the industry. And in here, we have our engine. Let's put it here. In here, let's put Ethereum Polkadot and Cosmos. Yeah. Engine had a token on Ethereum in the past. It is still valid. I'm talking about it as past, but it's still valid actually. Engine project has many products and they are basically about gamify and NFTs. They have NFT minting functionality, gamify SDKs. Also, they have a unique wallet and this wallet supports many things inside of it, like collecting NFTs, connecting to gamifies, and it supports many blockchains in the industry, not only Engine, not only Ethereum, and also Engine has an NFT marketplace, and also Engine has many other things, very small things about gamify and NFTs. Engine has these services for a very long time, but they were alive on Ethereum blockchain and Engine was having some problems about transaction fees. Transaction fees were high and the speed was low. That's why Engine has decided to create Affinity on Polkadot. This Affinity is a parachain, is a blockchain on Polkadot. And to use Affinity Engine has created a small layer 2 on Ethereum and the name was JumpNet. The plan was to jump into the Affinity from Ethereum Engine by using the JumpNet. While Engine was trying to build a system they have decided things are getting more complicated and the users are not really happy. So together, the team and the community of Engine, they have decided to create one single thing, one single blockchain named as Engine Blockchain. And they have decided to migrate all the products and all the former tokens into this engine blockchain, new engine blockchain. And they have created this engine blockchain by cloning the affinity. But this new engine blockchain is not a prior chain, but it is a blockchain of clone of affinity and it supports Polkadot infrastructure. So right now, engine has its own blockchain it supports Polkadot infrastructure. That is why you can connect to this blockchain by using the Polkadot extensions. And ENJ token is the main token of Engine blockchain. We can say coin as well. And this is a proof of stake blockchain. 
so you can stake your engine to coins you can use it in the governance you can use it by paying the transaction fees and you can use it on nft marketplace and you can use it to build some games by using sdks and so on so now engine coin has many utilities under the engine blockchain but the migration thing is still ongoing nearly 70 percent of the applications has been migrated but it's still ongoing and nearly 60 percent of tokens has been migrated but it's still ongoing so this is the current situation of engine project basically after understanding this let's go on the web page as fast as we can following the slogan there are two links one of them is i'm a creator if you are a creator of nfts you can click this one you can browse marketplace you can see the nfts on the nft marketplace of engine and as you can see the url is nft.io and you can see you can sell or buy the nfts by using the enj tokens so this is number one thing and if you want to mint your own nfts you can click this mint now this link is not working right now but engine platform we're gonna see in a mid it is working and you can mint your nfts on that platform so this page basically if you click the i'm a creator it's describing how to create your nfts and how to use them on engine if you are a developer if you click this page it is forwarding us to the documentation basically engine has a very great documentation nearly everything can be found on this documentation and it is forwarding us to the create account the engine platform if you create an account by using your email and then if you connect your wallet i'm gonna i'm not gonna connect my wallet if you connect your wallet you can use this platform in a full so on the collection page you can see your nft collections and if you want to create one you can click create collection on tokens page you can see your tokens if you have or if you want to create you can click create token on the beams page you can see your beams or you can create engine beam and for the beams i need to explain the beams are a unit thing that engine has created you can convert your nfts into the barcodes and the cameras can scan these barcodes and you can transfer the nfts by scanning these barcodes this is the engine beam system so in the fuel tanks you can see your fuel tanks or create fuel tanks and what is fuel tank and the fuel tank is a unix system also which is engine invented if you want to develop a game on engine you can create a fuel tank and you can match this fuel tank with your application with your game so your users the players of that game will not pay transaction fields while using the game this is a bit complex you need to check on documentation to be 100 percent sure there's a marketplace information in here nft marketplace details are ongoing in here and transactions and the wallet details since i did not connect my wallet i cannot see my transactions and wallets so this is the platform of engine basically everything is going on in there basically so we have clicked this on our developer page and if we go down in this developer page it is telling us the details of engine blockchain on the main page if we go down a bit we can see some statistics if we go down a bit more we can see the statistics of the engine blockchain and it is made for mass adoption as you can see if you want to learn more if you click this page it is telling us the engine blockchain basically this page and on the top explore documentation again and get started if you click get started it's going to forward you to the platform again so everything is ongoing under this platform basically if we go down a bit more we can see four main products of engine and these are marketplace mobile wallet beam and platform so platform we have already seen we have already talked about the beam also we have already checked the marketplace as well and there is mobile wallet in here we did not see it yet 
Engine has a mobile wallet. It supports many blockchains, not only Engine. It supports many tokens, coins, exchanges, NFTs. It supports the Beam infrastructure also. You can send and get NFTs by scanning the barcodes, etc. This wallet is actually a huge wallet. You can play a game like Minecraft under Engine ecosystem. You can find a toy in Minecraft. You can convert it to an NFT and you can send it to this wallet and you can send to another one or sell it. So it's a very complex wallet. Maybe the concept is wider than MetaMask. So if you go down a bit more, we can see fueling the ecosystem engine coin. Now engine has its own blockchain and the main fuel of this blockchain is the ENJ coin. If you click learn more, it's gonna show us you can use this ENJ token, the fuel, for transaction fees, for governance, for proof of stake reward, and for providing liquidity. If you go down the page, you can see some details as well. So, if we go down a little bit more, we can see the staking reward currently. So, the engine coin has an inflation around 5% yearly right now, but the staking reward is around 45%. So how is this possible? As we told 10 minutes ago, the total supply is increasing around 5% yearly, but while migrating the former tokens, there is a gap. So in the past, the tokens were on Ethereum and Affinity, while the migration is happening, there is a huge gap. The team has some extra tokens in their hands. So they want to distribute it in an efficient way. And right now they have increased the yearly reward rate of the staking mechanism. That is how now they are actually advertising the project by using the staking system. And people are coming here to get the staking rewards. Meanwhile, they learn about the Neve blockchain of Engine. So if you want to learn how to stake, you need to click how to stake. You can see this page is telling with the pictures. And to make the staking, you need to download the wallet. If you click download wallet, you can download it on Google Play or on Apple Store. If you go down a bit more, this page is providing a barcode to scan to get your NFT for free, first NFT for free. If you download the wallet, if you scan this QR code, Engine is giving a gift NFT for start. If we go down a bit more, it is telling us build with us, as you can see. In here, we have already seen the platform, we have already seen the documentation, and we have already seen the NFT.io. This is the marketplace of NFTs on Engine. If we go down a bit more, we can see some statistics about the community, the social, links if we go down a little bit more we will see the engine wallet again we have already seen it these are the partners some of the partners if we go down a bit more we can see the block shares and there is no problem in here as well the block shares are coming regularly so no issues if you go down a bit more explore engine 4 if you are an individual you can click this page you can follow you can download the wallet you can get your nft for free you can play to explore, play to earn games, you can play them, you can discover more NFTs, you can exchange them, up to you. If you are a creator or developer, these are the going the same pages, I'm a developer, I'm a creator at the top of the page, so I will not click them. If we go down a bit more, we're coming to the end of the page. So at the top there is a menu and it is exactly same with the down menu and we have already seen engine platform and NFTIO marketplace and wallet so i will go from here so in the categories the product category there is this engine coin engine blockchain wallet platform marketplace and engine beam we have already seen all of them the links are the same in the resources category there is block we have checked documentation we have checked there is a learning hub this is not active yet but this is a teaser page only i think they will create a learning hub under this link, but it's not active yet. There is a Relay Chain Explorer. We have checked this. And in this page, we can see the 
total supply. We can see the circulating supply, estimated the staking and the others. And in here, if we click blockchain and accounts, we can see the distribution of the coins in engine blockchain. And under the Relay Chain Explorer, there is Matrix Chain Explorer. If we click, there is another explorer in here. I did not mention this metric system yet, but let's see this also at this point. This new engine blockchain system has a unique functionality. There is a relay chain on the top and there are metric chains. These metric chains can provide some unique functionalities depending on the design. And if you want to develop a game under engine blockchain, you can create a max chain, matrix chain for your game specifically with some settings of your own. And for providing an example, engine itself has created a matrix chain, engine matrix chain. And this link is going to that chains explorer. But this is not increasing the total supply of engine coins, no problem. And there is a link as showcase. This is an important link for us. Under this link, we can see the ecosystem elements of engine blockchain. This is important because if there are many new ecosystem elements under engine blockchain, if this ecosystem grows, it's going to bring success to engine blockchain project right now there are 30 projects here and nearly 60 of them 60 percent of them are working for real you can check their websites and engine is trying to grow that ecosystem right now in the about category there's white paper i will not click but i will click the company link because we will see the team if we go down in the page a bit we can see the team, four main team members. Of course, there are others, but in this page, we can see only four of them. And meanwhile, let's check the YouTube page as well. They have a YouTube channel, and the channel has around 188 videos. And the last video has been published two months ago. This YouTube channel was very active one year ago and two years ago. And we could see the team members uh, in the videos but in the last one year this youtube channel is not really active because they have been working hard to create their own blockchain and for migrating the products and the tokens but we still can see some people so this is still okay and following the team members i have checked the youtube channels to see if they are providing some amas or interviews in the last one year, I did not find any of them. Only Rini was active a little bit, but the others is not really active. But these people are known in the crypto industry, so they are valid and the team is legit. So according to the team of the project, the project is getting a check mark as well. So the other links I will not click or I will not mention because they are only for contact and support links, etc. And the company links so we try to understand the project we have checked the website and we have checked the team as well now let's go to the coin echo page again and try to analyze the project so let's start with the negative things the project has two negative things for me and one of them is huge right now and the other one is small the huge one is the token migration Engine has been in this industry for a very long time, nearly 10 years. And after 10 years, they have a very solid background. They created many systems, they created many products. And many people actually is aware of Engine. And many people know Engine is a token on Ethereum. And then they learned Engine has an affinity blockchain. But now, Engine has its own blockchain, but I think not so many people is aware of that. So this migration situation will continue for quite some time. And the token migration is not a simple thing. 
it's gonna follow the project for maybe around one more year so this is the main negative thing on project for me right now and the number two negative thing is we cannot see team members regularly on the media especially on youtube so we need to see their faces we need to learn what they are doing from there onwards so this is a small negative thing not a big one the positive thing is actually the project has a very solid background the team is not really active on media but they are very strong as well they are very very strong in the coding they have a very solid background in the blockchain coding as well so the price maybe it's in a good place to buy right now it is relative and the most important thing the positive thing is they have a platform and it is working they have many functionalities and they have already converted everything migrated everything into their new blockchain so they're very fast to do that so this is a very positive thing for me and uh it is showing how fast the engine team can migrate their system from one to another one they're capable of doing things very fast and smooth so because it's because of their experience in the industry so this is a positive thing also so right now the project is located at 138 let's try to understand what it can do let's write 138 to here yeah if we are in the bull market the price will follow the bull market sooner or later and then if bear market comes after the bull market of course the price will go down but the question is if the price will go down lower than the point it started to rise so in here i see low risk there are two possibilities a sudden hack or the token migration problems yeah these are the two problems that might occur in the bull market and if they occur when the bear market comes the price may go lower than the point that it has started to rise so there is a low risk in here if the bull market is not here yet and if the bear market continues for some time i estimate this project's price will go lower softly not really hard not really very softly but only softly i can say so this project's place is 138 but for me right now this project is staying behind a line in the crypto industry in the last six months the artificial intelligence and the layer twos and then the bitcoin etfs are very famous and the projects like engine coin is staying behind the scenes so I think this project should stay around between 80 and 100 but right now it is located at 138 it means that it has a potential to rise and in the bull market while all the industry going up around 10x i think this project has a potential to raise around 13x or 14x and it has another kind of potential as well as we learned now engine has its own blockchain and it is new and not so many people is aware of it so while staying behind the scenes while some other things are popular right now like artificial intelligence bitcoin etfs and layer twos if engine project can grow its ecosystem to a successful point with some successful games then there is a possibility for this project to rise more than 80. i think this project has a potential to go between 30 and 80 in the long term if things goes well but this is a quite good potential for this project and i hope it works so for this video for engine project uh, that's all for me 
I hope you enjoyed it. Please do not forget, things I tell is not financial advice and you need to be very careful if you are considering to invest anything in this world. Everything is dynamic. Please do not forget it. And see you in the next video. Take care.